squeeze on in. Hey, from Future Naomi and Jack, you've been watching all of our videos, which we filmed in summer last year. It's Easter weekend. We're actually filming this on Easter Saturday. So Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Right now, things are a mess because we are in the process of sanding, funnily enough, the bedroom floorboards. And despite the fact that we've just put out a video about sanding, as Naomi mentioned, it's been like six months in between. Yeah. Anyway, we've had to empty everything out of there. It's a mess. But it's an exciting period of time because we are exploring the idea of adding an extension to the property Ooh. or doing some kind of additional works to try and get a second bedroom, um, potentially an extra bathroom. Our baby is not happy. She wants to go out. So we have a one bed, one bath. We want to make a two bed, two bath and a kitchen, uh, an open kitchen. It doesn't have to be an open plan no, kitchen. No, let's clarify. Do we care if it's two bath? No, but it has to have a bathtub. Yes, so we want, does it have to have a bathtub? It has to have a bathtub. Okay, so we want at least two bedrooms, one of the bath, we need at least one bathtub and a dining table. It's so difficult to find a space where you can have a dining table. Um, mm. And I need one. I, I just, I'm too old not to have a dining table. So. So we've been speaking to my dad about it and got some ideas about how we can do the extension, but then it turned out uh, that we do need planning permission. We thought that we wouldn't under something called permitted development, which allows you to do single story extensions at the rear, but it turns out that that's only for houses, not for maisonettes. So even though this is the ground floor of a house, because we don't own the whole house, we can't do the extension without planning. Yes. So we decided to contact an architect and we had the surveyor come today to take measurements and we are going to have an architect meeting on Tuesday, I believe, if I send the email. But prior to that, we wanted to get it in our mind what we wanted and then for the architect to just make it better. Mm -hmm. Because our concern is Jack is going to be doing a lot of the work mm -hmm. with his father's guidance. I'll obviously be helping where I can, but that means the construction has to be really simple. Yeah. And we want it to be cost effective, so we don't want lots of like structural engineering work we don't want to remove internal walls we want it to be as seamless as possible yeah so jack's father has thought of an incredible idea which we liked and then we tried to replicate everything in sketchup yeah and then i was like oh this is a bit of a tight space it's a bit tight yes so the problem is we we thought we would add the extension outside these doors behind us these are the doors out to the garden and it looks like quite a lot of space, but the problem is we can't build the wall right up against the boundary. And then that eats into the space, and then by the time you actually add the thickness of a wall on, the space starts to get smaller. So we had planned for that to be the kitchen. The kitchen to turn into a bedroom with um, the bathroom staying intact as an ensuite. Mm -hmm. We were then going to change this closet that we have um, in our living room and turn it into a small bathroom. Yep. So that means we would turn the flat into a two bed, two bath. Mm -hmm. Now the problem is the bedroom is very small, but how big of a problem is it? I just find it a bit weird that the smallest bedroom has a huge bathroom. That's mm -hmm. weird, but I don't know. Maybe it's not weird. You tell us. Second problem is that the kitchen is also small. So we can get all the appliances in mm -hmm. as we like perfect but we want well i wanted i say we i wanted a dining table in there i feel like if a, if a house has two bedrooms and two baths then you're kind of appealing to a small family you want an ample sized kitchen and it would be ample but mm -hmm. where are you sitting for dinner no i agree but also naomi has an agenda she's been wanting a dining table ever since we moved in We've rearranged the living room 10 times to try and fit a dining table in. In my defence, Jack got me into board games, right? If I want to play a board game, why don't I have a lovely table? Don't introduce me to board games if you don't want me to have a lovely table. So this is why we're making this video. Today. Yes. We want your advice. We're going to give the floor plan down below. Mm -hmm. We'll put it on screen. We'll make it available to download. Help us figure out what to do with our house. Yeah, and you never know. Your design might be chosen to be built. 
Like yeah. a, it's like a competition, except for you don't really get anything. Just the apart pride. from the pride of your design ideas being incorporated into our house. We hope you enjoyed the Renaults. If you have any questions, feel free to ask us. But thank you for watching this very short and sweet video. You need to go. Like, stand. subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye.